uh, well uh, hello and welcome to our new screencast in this screencast I will show you how to install our Ginet WordPress theme okay so for that you have to install a fresh installation with at least PHP 7.4 plus okay like this so when you will install a fresh installation of a WordPress then you have to log into that panel okay like this so after that you have to go to the themes and uh, when you will purchase our theme you will get uh, a file giant wp full dot zip there you will get two files giant dot zip and giant child okay so <sighs> you don't have to install uh, directly this wp full file okay you have to install giant.zip and giant.child separately okay so for that you have to click on add new here okay add new now click on upload theme and now drag this theme okay so click on install now so after that you have to go to themes page again okay you don't have to activate this you just have to go to themes page again okay so because we don't recommend uh, the theme installation without the child theme because uh, we don't recommend update core theme file okay because uh, we regularly update our theme uh, sometime feature update sometime bug update so we never recommend to use our theme uh, to modify okay so go to themes page now again click on add new select upload and now drag this child theme okay we really recommend to use child theme okay now click on activate so now you are seeing here is some plugin installation notice so you have to click on bing installing plugins okay once you come to this page you have to select all and click on install select install and click on apply okay so this will take some time let's uh, wait a few moment or let me pause my recording okay once this will be done i will come back okay okay so i am back uh, all the plugin installed successfully you just have to ignore this for now because uh, this is my uh, local host uh, so it's uh, giving some error it's uh, just a warning uh, so ignore it now click on return to rec uh, plugin installer okay now check again everything and select activate and click on apply okay so all done now we have to click on to return to the dashboard it's very straightforward system no tricks are anything you have to do you just have to click on some point okay and here one thing uh, elementor give this page for their marketing purpose don't hesitate or think uh, that we are uh, selling a uh, pro plugin or something it's just a pop-up like other websites so you just have to click on this close button and you are done we build our theme with completely free elementor okay if you want any advanced things which is available on elementor then you uh, should try pro version otherwise we build our theme with a free version okay so now all done you have to come to import demo data and click on import demo data button this big button another thing we don't recommend to use this three plugin okay if you are familiar and if you are okay with this 
uh, then you can use but this is also a marketing purpose of one click demo import plugin so we don't recommend to check this three if you are familiar and want to use you can do but it's not mandatory or required thing okay so after that you just have to click on continue and import okay so this will take some time uh, and after that it will be done okay so I am pausing this video again once here a success screen will come then I will come back okay so that's it okay so uh, our uh, basic import is done which is a uh, demo import so let's uh, click to visit site okay something happened that's why the main home page not showing if this happen you have to go to settings then reading okay after that you have to select a static page and select the home and uh, select news or blog page as your blog page okay news sidebar this one okay or this one okay let's go for news click on save changes now let's visit site okay here is it so you can see this is our fresh installed wordpress where we installed the demo sometime some bugs come like uh, the this not work for this you have to go to dashboard okay this is for recent elementor update okay it's not our theme bug it's for elementor so for that you have to go to settings then features you will see swiper update option okay update swiper library just inactivate okay and click on save changes that's it so now go to site now click on the images you will see it's showing correctly okay see it's all fine this one is the default post so that's why it's like that so don't worry about this everything working fine so that's the installation video of our giant theme so if you have any issues or any problems you should come to our support panel which is uh, items support page okay this is our giant theme you just have to come to the support okay and from here you have to click this contact author okay you have to sign in and then you can connect with us okay so that's the wrap if you have any issues or anything else you should come and tell us so have a good day